Um, I'm back with another video for today. Um, so some recent events have caused 2020 to become even worse than before, or 2021, worse than before with thing we heard about the passing of the lead guitarist and lead vocalist for Children of Bodom. Um, definitely hurt, definitely hurt me. Um, yeah and to go from that to a bunch of people people coming together wishing them wishing other people good times in recovery of mourning his loss to telling people to kill themselves on the internet has gotten to be very 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 uh volatile and very horrible and i will not fucking support it and here's my response to that Here's my response to all the hate that's been going on for the metal community, for people standing up and mostly supporting the Iced Earth, uh, either supporting or bashing the Iced Earth guitarist. Um, I look at stuff like that as, well, he stood up for what he believed in. He did something, he did something way fucking insane that we thought never would happen and I can't, I can't really say that I dislike him, or I like him, I'm kind of still like, okay, I like Iced Earth, I like their music, I'm never gonna probably unlike them just for that, but, but for people to actually tell other people that support, is supporting him to kill themselves, that's kind of in, that's kind of uncalled for, definitely, and for them to respond with, people on Loudwire's posts and other people that like that to kill themselves is very uncalled for themselves. And it just makes me think that, like, if this shit continues, the music's gonna die. If you have a biotile shit coming from one side of this, one side of the uh, metal community and then volatile shit from the other side, it's like, it's like how an elitist almost killed the music. It's like, how there wasn't any real metal albums that came out in certain years. Like, oh, 2013, everybody fucking sold out. Everybody was, all the music was fucking trash. 2020, 2013, it wasn't that. There was definitely some metal bands in 2020, or 2013. And the elitists were definitely fucking wrong, but were riling people up. This is what the fuck has been happening in the metal community. Is when people like me have to sit in the middle and watch people rile each other up. And be complete assholes to everybody. And people in the middle are just watching the shit unfold and think it's just uncalled for. And this whole crusade for the uh, crusade against horrible people has gotten and garnered some hypocrites and has gar garnered some hypocritical bullshit that is on their side now that and yeah the metal community is just downright volatile with politics like you can't escape it and i'm not trying to escape it anymore i'm trying to say that i don't fucking like politics it's fucking all shit it's all fucking hypocrites. You have fucking hypocrites and hypocrites on both. It's fucking bullshit. All of it's fucking shit. You fucking look at it and just say all of it's shit. And cast it out. That's what I fucking did. And I can't fucking cast it out because everybody comes at the fucking side of you with it. And keeps telling you, what do you think of it? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Whatever you think of it. And I tell them, I don't give a fuck about it. 20 fucking million times, but I can't. Because everybody's got to be so volatile about it. And so nasty about it. Um, yeah. I don't have any more words about it. Uh, about people uh, about people telling them to kill themselves on the internet. I have a story for... Um, I have a guy that has currently been disliking my videos. Um, call, call, I'm going to call him out here. And probably start a war with him on the internet. But... 
I don't back down from I don't back down from nobody and I don't like when people threaten or not threaten but be assholes about people unfollowing. Being followed by somebody is a fucking privilege. Being having subscribers is a privilege for me. And when somebody gets mad because I don't want to see toxic shit every fucking day. Um, that's just it. That That's why people, that's why I unfollowed the person that's probably fucking watching this video. That's why I unfollowed you because you're, because you're toxic. You are literally toxic and you bash other people. And it, and it's just uncalled for. I mean, it's just uncalled for. And I get you don't like the human race. I get it. You don't like humanity at all. Nobody fucking does. But as long as we're here, we ought to not try to stir the pot. Uh, not be... Not force negative shit upon other people. And if you don't understand that, well, you could rightfully fuck yourself. Because, well, I'm unapologetic unpolog on that. Um, I guess I unfollowed you. And yes, I think I don't give a shit if people want to follow me. I think people that follow me have the privilege to take that follow away from me if they don't like what I say. But. If you just think that people have to follow me, I'm entitled to an, a follow, then I don't like, I don't, I don't want to follow anybody like that. Like, that's someone with their head up their ass. Someone that don't think their shit stink. Listen, everybody's shit stinks. Everybody shit stinks. Everybody has done something in their life that they regret. Even me. I'm not going to state it. Everybody's done shit that they regret. Everybody has skeletons in the closet that could literally ruin their career at a click of a finger. I know I have some. And, well, we all know Carson had a few. And, well, they came out. So yeah, the volatile metal community has been so toxic that we can't, that nobody can coexist in this metal, and that nobody, <laughs> that nobody can't have a fucking civilized conversation with anybody on this community. It's all just bombarding with hate. It's contempt for everybody, and it's downright disgusting hope you guys liked the video um i'm gonna leave it eight minutes metal discussion or uh, metal discussion message to someone that probably watches my videos still and is still pretty volatile against me and hates me with a passion but i, I don't fucking care i don't hate you i don't hate you i don't hate anybody i'm not a hateful person I pride myself on not being a hateful person, and that's something that people enjoy my content for. And I might not agree with what Testament has to offer or what they believe in, but I still have ranked their music, still like their music, and continue on supporting them, even though that I don't support what they So that's the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next.